thought you could win. Oh! <laughs> What's going on, guys? It's your boy Ant. Guy made 32 on Instagram, and today we back with a new trailer for Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania, man, and I can't wait to get into it with you. So yeah, guys, I was very clear in the Ant-Man videos that we did before that I wasn't the biggest fan of the Ant-Man movies, but I have to tell you, man, from what I've seen from this one, and from what Ant-Man has done and how integral he's been to the MCU, I can't even lie and tell you I'm not excited for this movie, man. Especially when you have somebody like Jonathan Majors playing the villain of the movie, man. And from the little bit of footage that I've seen of Jonathan Majors as Kang the Conqueror, man, he is definitely intense. He's definitely foreboding in his presence. And I just can't wait to see how they take all of that Put it on screen and take it to the next level man so if you like what you see here please go ahead and do the youtube things like comment and subscribe and if you want to be notified when we upload new videos go ahead and click that little bell icon now without any further ado let's get you're an interesting man scott lane okay he's definitely an interesting you're man an okay i like that you have a daughter so you've lost a lot of time. Facts. Like we can help each other with that. See, he don't even sound like he who remains anymore. That's crazy. Cassie crazy ass that did that. Who are you? I'm the man who can give you the one thing you want. What's hey! That? Time. Oh, so he comes in offering some stuff? can rewrite existence. Chronopolis. Oh, jeez. That's a fact. Who this guy is. I just lost so much. Oh, man. It's, you would definitely want to get that back. Ooh, that looks crazy. February 17th. Let's go. What the hell is this? Okay. Or everything you call life will end. Witness the beginning of a new dynasty. <laughs> yeah, look at that. The eye of his head just fell off. I want her to watch this. We had a deal. Hold that. Ain't no deals. Wait, is that buddy with that? Oh! I don't have to win. We both just have to lose. That's a fact. Oh, it's gonna get bad. I'm sorry, Cassie. Oh! Jeez! Quantumania! Let's get it! And yeah, guys, that was the new trailer for Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, man. And that was just awesome, man. It's so good to get back in the MCU with something that's so big and it's going to mean so much for the rest of the MCU going forward, man. Like, listen, when I tell you that Jonathan Major's presence was felt in this joint, man, it was felt, G. Like, from the moment he was doing the voiceovers, man, he felt in control. He doesn't feel like he who remains anymore. He feels like Kang. And that's amazing for an actor to come in do a bit part and that bit part stands out so much that you could compare it to another part just off of his voice inflections alone man jonathan majors you are an awesome actor man i can't even lie to you i knew you was good from playing tick and lovecraft country alone g but like this is bringing brand new levels to your performance that i'm seeing not even to mention what i've seen from devotion and what you're gonna do in creed 3 this just feels something different man it feels major Boom. It feels big. It feels like how it's supposed to feel when you're bringing in a brand new villain that's gonna fill the hole that Thanos left for us, man. And the way how everybody is talking about him here, you know that the Wasp's mother was stuck in the quantum realm for like 30 years, man. So when she's giving you the, the tidbits about him, it just sounds so, I don't know how to even explain it, man, but 
it it sounds like she either had run-ins with him before or she's heard about him before and she tried to stay away from him as much as possible while she was down there but with Cassie coming in and pulling them all in and Scott really feeling the time that he's lost with his daughter that's five years gone in a in a snap you feel what i'm saying so it was it was immense it was immeasurable the kind of pain that he was feeling and even when he gave his daughter that hug in endgame man i remember feeling the emotion and the and the and the loss that he must have been feeling at that time man because in ant-man one and two he was doing everything just to get back to his daughter, to get on the straight and narrow so he could have time with her. And then it, then five years being taken away like that and losing the time with her as a little baby, man. Uh, I, I think anybody put in that situation and having a chance to get that time back would find the reasons in their head to trust somebody like Kang. And I feel like that's the reason why Kang went ahead and took advantage of Scott because he was in such a vulnerable position. Man, this movie is gonna be a lot. This movie is gonna be heavy. Some people are predicting the death of Scott Lang and the way how he just stepped on buddy head in this joint, I can't even lie to you. If he dies in this, if he dies, he dies. You feel what I'm saying? I'm gonna feel it but it's just gonna be a part of an amazing story going forward and it would be a great cap to the end of Ant-Man, you know what I mean? Like I said, man, I love, the, I love the way how the MCU is forging a new path after phase four. As I said in my Wakanda Forever video, I love how that reset our expectations of what the new Marvel was gonna be because phase four was rocky, we all know that. And this looks like it's carrying a torch forward in that, man. It seems big, it seems expansive, and the gravitas is definitely there. Coming from all the actors, man, Scott Lang did his thing in here, and it's definitely gonna be a father-daughter story for the ages with everybody else in there, because they're all family, so everybody else in here is just gonna feel it a lot more than when they're just out there trying to save regular people. Saving regular people, I believe, is definitely up there when it comes to the orders of importance, but when it's your family, when you're trying to get to a certain place with your family, when you feel like you have so much loss with your family, man, this is like harkening back to that trailer that I did the other day, the knock at the cabin. Like, what would you do to protect your family? What would you do to get back that time, man? And I can't even lie to you. This is just like so much and I can't wait to get into it, man. But jump down in the comments and let me know what you think about it, man. I feel like I've been rambling because this trailer has been so good. I can't stop talking about it, man. What do you think is gonna happen in this movie? What do you think is gonna be the trigger to all of this? Did Cassie just make a way in order to communicate with Kang or did Kang reach out to Cassie and it was just like a backdoor thing to where he planned it all along? Because you know that's his thing, man. He sets up things in ways that he will win or to get what he wants. And I think that's just amazing, guys. And I can't wait to see this on the big screen. But yeah, guys, if you like what you're seeing here, please remember to like and subscribe. It helps us way more than you know. And it helps us beat the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to be notified when we upload new videos, go ahead and click that little bell icon. Thank you. You thought you were going to win.